So we have all this, all these pages. Now from here, how do we extract the information from each of these pages? So we're going to create a new file here called attribute, or actually we're going to call this create data set. So what we're going to do is we're going to create like a, uh, a data frame, like a pandas data frame of all of the CryptoPunks and all of their categories. So we're going to import pandas as pd, and then let's see. Oh yeah, and then we gotta import os, and then we're gonna say uh, for f and os dot list dir. Let's see, we want to do attribute pages. Let's just make sure we have, uh, or if that works. And yeah. All right, so here are all the files. Now what we need to do is we need to determine what information to extract first. So inside of here, so you wanted to get this information, right? So this is the, let's see. Perhaps we get the I think we should get I think we would get the container object. We'd get all the div containers. And then from the first div container, what we would do is we would get all of the No, it wouldn't be that one. It would be this one. Yeah. So we would get the rip, the row image grid from the div container. So, oh yeah, we got to import beautiful soup again. Or, whoops, from the S4. Import beautiful soup. All right. Now let's say soup is equal to. I want to say I want to stop. Or beautiful soup. I'm going to say. Uh, da, da, da. I want to stop half. Or we need to say path is equal to OS dot path dot join attribute pages and f. We're going to open it. Say soup is equal to beautiful soup f dot read f dot close. Okay. Now, to the now to the now, let's see, we're going to, uh, let's see, we said it was the container, right? I think so, it was called, yeah, container, then we went to row image grid. So we're going to say uh, containers is equal to soup find all uh, div 
and then class is going to be the container. And then we're going to say container is equal to containers there. We're going to get the first one, and then the row image, the row image grid. So we're going to say row image grids is equal to container find all div class is row image was it that just img no it was spelled out all the way okay and then we're just going to get the first one again we're going to print it and we're going to quit to make sure it works all right out of range hmm so why would this be out of range maybe you say if the length of row image grids if it's greater than zero then we continue otherwise we're going to say print empty empty grid All these are empty grids. That is interesting. So we're missing something, aren't we? Okay, so row image grid, yeah. We're getting that container object. Which, see, this is container, container, container. We only care about this one. Ah, oh, maybe it's. Hmm. It could be pulling the wrong one. Let's call this item header instead. So instead of containers, we're going to call this item headers. And gosh, was there a. Okay, so there was an underscore there. Item header. Okay. So we're going to call this item header is equal to the first one. And then from there, then we look for the row image grids. We're going to see if we have the same problem. And there we go. There is our image grid. So from this image grid, what we can do is we can parse these A tag elements. And we're going to get, um, or actually, I think we could just get the image tag right here. And then what we could do is we can get the um, the alt text right there and then we would get that number so let's do that so we're going to say images is equal to let's see that. images is equal to row image grid we're going to say find all images. So I'm going to say for image in images. We're going to get that um, alt text. Uh, so we're going to say alt text is equal to image alt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to split it. Uh, so we're going to say. Uh, 
underscore and then uh, punk id string is equal to alt text dot split space and then we're going to print the punk id string and we're going to quit all right so there is our number that you want now how are we going to store these numbers so to store these numbers So let's call this attribute, and then we're going to say, uh, da, 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 da. something called f.replace text file with nothing. Then we're going to replace the underscores. Actually, that's not important. We just care about the extension. So we're going to create a um, records dictionary. And in these records, we're going to store the token IDs and their categories. So what we're going to do I'm going to say records. Actually, let's see. We're going to call this something different. Token ID or token categories. We're going to say token categories. And we're going to convert this to an integer. Say uh, punk ID string is equal to, or let's see, we're going to append the attribute. So we're going to say if if int punk id string not in token Categories. I'm going to say token categories and punk ID string is equal to a list. Okay, and then we're going to append it. And at the very end, I mean, this will be a dictionary. Hmm. I wonder if this will work or not. I don't know. I'm, this might be completely wrong, but we're going to try it. Hmm. Okay, so the tone categories, we need to convert this. I think there's probably some way to do this already with Pandas, but... Um, you know, since I'm not aware of this quite yet, we need to convert this dictionary to a list. So, uh, we're going to say token category as list. And how would we do this? We're just going to do that. We're going to say for token ID and then the category list in token categories dot items. How would we do this?
maybe it would just be uh, let's see it should be pretty straightforward we say token categories as list we're going to append a dictionary this dictionary is going to be id token id and then the attributes is going to be the c list and then we're going to say data frame is equal to pd data frame uh, from records we say token categories as list and then we're going to uh, pickleize this file so we're going to say uh, data frame to pickle we're going to call this um, punk uh, or just punks about pickle and print done the good old smiley face at the end Isn't this fun? I love Python. It's taken a while, so I am going to, I probably should have had something, you know, give us updates as to how things are going, but I'm guessing this, this will take probably an, another two, three minutes max. So I'm going to get some water. So catch you guys in a bit.